डिक्टेशन स्टार्ट नाउ ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया आई एक्सटेंड अ वेरी को ऑडियल वेलकम टू द चीफ मिनिस्टर्स एंड अदर रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फ्रॉम द स्टेट्स एंड यूनियन टेरिटरीज हु मेड इट कन्वीनियंट टू अटेंड दिस इम्पॉर्टेंट मीटिंग एट शॉर्ट नोटिस देयर हैज बीन अ स्टीप इंक्रीज इन द प्राइसिस ऑफ सर्टेन इसेंशियल कमोडिटीज इन द लास्ट फ्यू मंथ्स दिस हैज अफेक्टेड ऑल सेक्शंस ऑफ सोसाइटी बट पर्टिकुलरली द पुअर एंड मिडिल क्लास फैमिलीज एट द आउटसेट I would like to state that this conference express its empathy and concern for the people who have suffered hardships because of this problem the problem of price rise in india cannot be isolated from the problems in agriculture markets consumer markets and the administration it is a problem that simultaneously affects both the housewife and the farmer whenever there is a steep price rise it makes a hole in the expenditure budget of the consumer family and the income expectations of the producer family rising prices is a national problem it needs to be tackled by the center and the state government separately as well as jointly while an objective analysis of the problem is no doubt necessary for its proper comprehension and resolution political of the issue should be avoided the spirit of cooperation and sharing our responsibility alone can help us evolve effective long term medium term and immediate strategies to stabilize and reduce prices of essential commodities i am sure we will conduct the proceedings of this conference in this constructive spirit my government has accorded the highest pri- priority to ensuring adequate supplies of essential commodities as well as keeping their prices within reasonable limits to words this and a series of meeting has been held recently the cabinet secretary had convened a meeting of the chief secretaries of states union territories to review the price situation and also to evolve an action plan for curbing the rise in the prices of essential commodities as well as increasing the supplies of these commodities in different parts of the country the plan has already been sent to you for further action i am sure that the state governments and union territory administrations have come prepared to discuss the implementation of the plan the main reason for the recent support in prices was the weather dictation start now on account of the low unit price of the agriculture products even a small shortfall in supplies causes large price fluctuations and the market structure responds to this reality in a manner detrimental 
to the consumer's interest i would not like to substantiate this point since the agenda paper circulated to you do persistently that with the help of figures about the shortfalls in demand and supply of a few selected essential commodities what needs to be noted however is that there have been large regional variations in the price rise the onion prices in delhi and some other cities registered much sharper increases than cities in the south i must dwell here briefly on onion prices the unprecedented weather conditions leading to sharp supply shortages in the reason for shortages on onions arrival of fresh supplies was also greatly delayed by the continued spell of unpredictable weather it could have made a difference if the decision to place onion under the open general license with zero import duty coupled with arrangements for speedy imports had been taken somewhat earlier the prices of other essential commodities like rice wheat sugar tea and salt have shown a normal trend in view of the comfortable stock position of the commodities their prices are expected to rule easy in the coming months as a precaution however the government has decided to release 40 lakh tons of wheat to the state government for open sale at the rates fixed separately for different zones in the country several state government have intervened in the market to easy the price situation market intervention operation however have their limitations with which all of us are all too familiar they must be resorted to only if the need is urgent and acute when well managed they do produce desired result and bring some relief to harried consumers however neither the center nor the state governments can bear the financial and administrative cost to sustain them for too long and for a range of commodities we should therefore shift out focus to such medium term and long term strategies as would better manage prices of essential commodities there are four broad areas where the center and the states should together evolve a common approach they are production supply distribution and export import management of agricultural produce it is obvious but still bears emphasis that we will not be able to gain a lasting control over the price situation unless we vastly increase production of all the essential commodities this point is also import from the point of view of guaranteeing food security to our growing population now